warned you not to mess with me. <laughs> not bad for a bookworm. Now let's find the Nobel Prize winners. Huh? Yeah, we got all three of them, boss. Good. Bring him in. Hey, it's the big head freak from our school. Pi r squared times logarithm of zy equals... It's like they're sucking the intelligence from the prize winners and putting it into his head. No wonder he's such a know-it-all. Mr. Mr. Ambassador. Ambassador? That's right, girls. And also soon the father of the most intelligent child in the world. My son will be a genius in no time. A star pupil in school. No one will dare pick on him the way they picked on me. So, let me get this straight. You kidnapped those scholars just to suck out their brains and pump them into your son's head? Yes. And you think he won't get picked on? Hello? The guy's head is the size of a hot air balloon. <laughs> we'll see who gets the last laugh. He's gonna turn us into hamsters! Keen observation. The hamster is really going to benefit from your intelligence. Keep it up, you just might break through. Another job well done, girls. Thanks, Jerry. Wait a minute. Couldn't you have broken out of your cylinders yourselves? You both have propeller watches. Um, yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and risk getting unsightly facial bruises? I don't think so. Um, girls, aren't you forgetting something important? <laughs> No part of. Ah. Hey, what do you know? It's working! Nice job, Alex. You saved the world. Guess this means from now on he'll have to study for tests just like the rest of us. Oh, wait. I forgot. Some of us are exempt from tests. There was almost no fluid left in the tube. You all right, girls? A little grossed out, but otherwise fine. I can't... I can't believe you just did that for me. You totally saved my life, Sam. Not to mention my outfit. Well, I wouldn't have done it for just anybody. Only for a best friend? Exactly. Oh, Sammy. I'm so sorry I called you a thief and a traitor. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I never should have accepted the role of Cosette. Oh! <gasps> oh no! It's time for our quiz on Les Miserables! No! <laughs> Quick! To Beverly High! I forgot all about it! Heck, I don't know squat about Les Miserables! Neither do I. What, what are, are we, we gonna, gonna do? do? Don't worry about it, girls. I'll tell you everything you need to know. After all, that's what best friends are for. Good. Because we also need help cramming for our biology quiz on the Cro-Mags. Hmm. Wow. Who knew an artist like me could also excel at academics? Looks like we're all multi-talented. 
Speaking of which, what'd you guys decide to do about the play? It's simple. I'm gonna convince Mr. Tetley that Clover is the right actress for the part of Cosette. And I'm going to insist that he makes Sam my first understudy. Mr. Tetley, we need to talk to you right away. Yeah, it's about the part of Cosette. Shh, not now, girls. Oh, Monsieur Valjean, ah! what ill fortune to be poor with no family. That's it. That was brilliant, Mandy. You were born to play Cosette, and I won't take no for an answer. Huh? Mandy, you've got the makings of a star. Tell me something I don't know. Ah! Her. That backstabber! Here we go again. 